Welcome to another episode of The Yankee and The Hillbilly. And today, Jay, we're going to talk about something that a lot of people take for granted, especially living in the South, and that's waving. And in the South, you cannot drive anywhere without someone waving to you, whether you know them or not. This is correct. We got a lot of waivers down here in Hill, Hillbillyville. I mean, even just driving down the road... People in other cars, who I have no idea who they are, just give me a friendly little wave. And uh, I think that, uh, that that is because back a long time ago when North Carolina was primarily an agriculture state and you have hundreds of acres of farmland. And I remember when I was a kid working on my grandfather's farm, you know, you, you would be on a tractor driving around and the closest person that lived to me was my grandparents. And they were even like a, a little over maybe a mile, mile away. So you didn't really come in contact with that many people on a daily basis. So I guess that it was, you know, part of it was you were kind of glad to see somebody or, you know, so you just give them a, a, a friendly wave to say, hey, acknowledge that there's another person on the planet over here. So I think that's part of where it came from. I think that uh, in more crowded areas, cities, um, that you you just don't get that that much. It's true. And I will say this is a very easy habit to pick up. Because I find myself waving um, not only to the people I know, but, you know, someone gives me a wave, I give them a wave back. And, you know, and my wife will be like, who was that? And I'll be like, I have no idea. But I just gave them a wave. But I will tell you, this is dangerous. This put me in danger. I feared for my life. Okay? Because, you know, going back up north, you know, to visit my parents. I'm at my parents' house. I have a car wave riding down the street. I give them a wave. And what do they and want? They want stop, to stop short in the middle of the road. And, like, they're looking. <laughs> Who is it? Are they? Going, I don't know. Are they going to come out? Are they going to us? I don't know. I so, mean, so they actually thought that you wanted them to stop. Yeah, and like you know, and that's not the only time it's happened. But like, it's a habit, and like I can't just be like, oh, I'm up north, I'm going to stop waving the people. So uh, there's lots of times I give people a wave, and I get the dirtiest looks. Yeah. Well, that I think that. I don't know why that happens up north, but, you know, there are several different classifications of waves, I think. Like, when when I'm driving and uh, it's an acknowledgement wave, and, and there's a whole thing about who's waving first, who initiates the wave. Now, a lot of times... The pickup truck usually initiates the wave. All right, so if I'm driving along and it's pickup truck, the pickup truck, if I if I recognize the person that's that's approaching, I will... Uh, most of the time, if I can be, be the, the first person to initiate the wave. And most of the time, if it's somebody that I know, the wave will come, the wave will come as a three fingers or two fingers up from the steering wheel accompanied with a head nod. So that it goes something like, you know, the fingers go up and your head, your head kind of goes back like, hey, I know you. You're somebody that I know, Okay. All right. Now, if it's like family, you know, not just a, a friend, but a, a family, family get all into the, you know, they're riding and they're, they're like waving like that. They really want you to to acknowledge that that they have seen you. So it's like, uh, I got to wave like that. All right. Then there's that. Then I go with if I don't really know the person, I just go with the rearing the head back in a, in a, which is classified as a wave, I guess, or, or an acknowledgement. So somebody waves at me, I don't really know him. I'm like, or, you know, if I have a hat on, I might tip my hat back up like that. But there's different classifications of waves. And, you know, I, very true. And I might say the wave down here might have to do with the speed that people drive. Oh, yeah, they historically... Down in in this area of North Carolina, because it was a rural area and a, a agricultural area, you have a lot of farm machinery on the road. So 
people travel pretty slow. But like up north, if I'm driving by and someone I know is outside, or even if they're not outside and I'm passing their house, I'll give them the double honk. The real quick, the toot toot, bam bam. Yep. Yeah. And you know, just let them know. And like, different cars are different. So I mean, you know who's passing your house, but, and I don't know if that's you know more of the speed of the cars where I'm you're able to get the honk out, but you wouldn't see the wave. Right. But now, do you wait when you wave? Going back to your classifications of wave, you get the if you're outside and somebody drives by. Do you give them the real high wave, like? No, I don't give. Like I mean, that, that let, like they can look at it like a beacon of light, like the Statue of Liberty, as they drive by, because they're driving slow. Not, not quite. I mean, it, it, again, it depends. And if you're driving, do you ever give the out the window the that? And we can't see. Okay, out the window, like you stick your arm out the window. If you're driving, it would no, be. No, because I like my hand. air conditioning, and most times my window's so, not open. But if if it's just if I'm outside working. I, I just kind of do the half, just hand up, I see you, I acknowledge you, and then I'm going back to my, and go on to my day. Right. Have you ever seen this? Have you ever waved at somebody that you didn't know? You, you, are the, you initiate the wave, and they kind of give you that real slow wave back, like they're not sure if they should wave at you or not. Or they don't know so who you like, are. They're yeah, trying to like, figure it out. Yeah, they, they're looking at you, you wave to them, and then they're like, real slow kind of wave. Now, if there's someone I know, like if, if I saw you pulling into a parking lot, I might go with the high wave, try and get your attention. Right. Um, but usually if it's just... Now, here's one thing that, uh, that you got to watch out for is the traffic control wave that can get you in a lot of trouble. It's like, always observe the traffic laws. And this happens all the time when I go down to the beach and specifically one area where there's a lot of traffic and you got a light there and it almost becomes gridlock because, you know, somebody is just... Southern traffic or northern traffic? It's, it's down at Topsail. It's at Topsail Island. And, there, you know, you're, it, it's, it's all this traffic is trying to get onto the island. So there's a, a turn, a right turn, and it, it's actually a, a, a traffic stop where there's, it's a four-way stop. But then you get, you get to the point where, you know, people are saying, coming out of the grocery store and everything, so they're waiting. And then you, you get somebody that, that will stop and they'll, go, they'll, give you the, they'll give you the go ahead, you know, come on out. Well, that's fine if that person is going in the same direction that I'm going. Mm -hmm. But if they're trying to go all the way across to go the opposite direction, I, I'll never tell somebody to come out in front of me like that. And I will never, if somebody stops traffic and then says, come across, and to go across, I'm like, it's cool, man. I'll wait until there's See, a, a real I, I look at their car. If it's a nice car, oh, I'll, you're I'll, I'll trust them. <laughs> you're and gonna, if, if it's not such a nice car, sometimes I'll say, oh, no, I'll, I'll wait the extra 10 seconds and let you go. Right. So it, you, you make your assessment based on their ability to purchase a vehicle. Because if it's a Mercedes... Not, not, not even purchase, but <laughs> take care of a vehicle. If it's Mercedes. Like if, if, if I what if it's a dirty Mercedes? If it's like, it's a nice Mercedes, but it's just dirty. It, it, they got a surfboard in the back seat hanging out. Oh, that, 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 that would be fine. I mean, if, if they're surfing, that's fine. Yeah, because we but all like, know... Even if, it, even if, it, but like, if it was an old Mercedes with the front end missing, yeah, yeah, no, probably not a good you, idea. You, you, you go ahead, because obviously something happened to where you got rid of that front end for a reason, and I don't want to be a part of it. Do you head? Do you head wave a lot? Do you? Yeah, do you, I, I do. do. The, like, the, oh. the head wave in the car. That that's you know, a little quick, a little nod. And, and, you know, in some ways, I, I thought about that. That's, a, that's kind of a knee-jerk reaction to not being prepared to wave back with your hands. Like if you're adjusting the radio and driving at the same time, and then you see something, and they give you a wave, and you, you just, like, you try to do it real quick to get it in there because mm -hmm. you don't want to seem like a... Uh... Well, that's also easy, too. If, if you're waving to someone you know, and they sneak up on you where you don't notice them, and, like... You know, you catch them waving out of the corner, you just go up with the head real quick. Right. 
trying hey, to get them. And have you ever got this? Have you ever, ever got the later on in the day or a couple of days later you got, hey, I waved at you and you didn't wave back? Um, not really. That's happened to me before. You know a lot more people than I do, though. That's happened to me before. They're like, hey, Jay, I saw you. I saw you and I waved at you, man, and you didn't wave back. So is that kind of like an old-fashioned way of like, I posted a picture on Facebook and you didn't like it? Yeah, that's that would be yeah that would be an old version of that. But the thing about it was is I have to I don't feel like I I need to explain to them. You saw me and waved, but obviously I didn't see you. Because or I you was, could just say I waved. I guess you didn't see it. I'm sorry. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna tell them. Like, Look, I was probably deep in thought, and did not actually the the wave or the the your attempt to to uh, present yourself to me as we pass at 55 to 60 miles an hour on a highway, I just didn't see it. And I, I'm guilty of that. I'm guilty of being in deep thought as I drive along and not really pay attention to people trying to wave at me. But it's not that I don't want, it's not that I don't appreciate it. I appreciate it and I will wave back if the opportunity presents itself. But don't get all bent out of shape because you know somebody doesn't wave back. They probably just did, didn't see it or they didn't recognize it. And that's something that we got to teach our kids too, because I noticed that back, back several years ago, I, I didn't think much about you know when k kids would wave to you know from the bus stop and mm -hmm. stuff. You know, kids that didn't even know me. Yeah. As I'm passing by, they're just standing out there waving. Uh, down at the beach one time, me and my family were walking. There's kids up on a on a balcony of this house, and they're just they're waving at everybody that comes by, and I'm like, that's not really a good idea. It's it's especially for kids, but I mean, if you're in a car, it's one thing because you're, you're going by each other, but to, to wave to somebody from a, a location where they can come up and then start saying, oh, what you waving at? But, but at the same time, I will say, and go, but going back to the cars, not waving at strangers out in public, I will say that kids, and they're not really kids because they're driving now, but the kids who lived in this area of North Carolina their entire lives are more likely to wave from vehicles than other kids who have only been here a couple of years. Yes, this is true. Now, do you do the uh, do you do the acknowledgement or thank you wave if somebody like lets you into traffic or they you know they do something cool for you like yeah yeah, yeah you give yeah. them the the acknowledgement yep. wave. You know, it really makes me mad if when I do don't. some for somebody and they don't they don't give me the thank you wave. The acknowledgement wave, even the not, I would just appreciate the acknowledgement head nod. You know, you see, you can see them through the back of their car. If they would just go like, do something to acknowledge that I did something, you know, kind for you. So you need someone else's approval to do something kind. Um, you need a reward. I actually think that there should be uh, either a horn that says thank you when you hit it. Thank you, or some sort of lights back there with the blinkers. <laughs> Maybe they just blink, blink your blinkers, Morse code to thank you, you know, something. Those old uh, smiley face lights. Yes, something like that. And there should also be, you know, other other things that you can do when you disapprove of what somebody does. But until does it rhyme with thank you? Maybe, but until we get that, we're gonna we're gonna stick with the standard, the waving. So so for all our viewers out there, this is the Yankee and the Hillbilly. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.